At the moment we only have one type of page and it's hard coded in the code. But we want to have different types of pages. In our case we would like to create a landing page. So let's rename our default page component to block page to be more specific and create a new component called landing page. Because it's a page we need to set it as a content type. Now let's create our home page with the content type of landing page. And now we need to create a component with the same name in the code as well. For now we will put only a simple placeholder into the component to see if it works. And we will do the same now also for the blog page. To make this work we need to change our main story block view component as well. But how we will know what kind of component do we need to render? Storyblock is also sending us information about the component name, so we will use that. If we did everything correctly, every page should now show the correct page type. As it seemed to be working, our next step is to now render the correct component based on this component name. This means that we need to render dynamically. For this purpose we will use views built-in component element and pass it the component name to its property called is. But as we can see it's not working correctly because we should see this text from the block page component. The reason behind this is that we are using dynamic components and these components need to be registered globally in view. So we will do that now in our main JavaScript file. With this done we can see the correct content rendering. And the landing page shows the correct content as well.